I'm going to speak to something um, a little different and just interject uh, Ferguson into the equation to keep us all humble. <laughs> this, just because we make these major strides, we enact these policies, society moves forward, we're not done <laughs> because the whole, the whole culture, the whole society hasn't yet um, tipped in as profound and full a way as it needs to. So when we were mining lessons from our, from our work over the years, one of them is just this, the nature of this time scale. Um, and change, you know, it, it can happen abruptly because of these tipping, tipping moments. You know, get Jeff talking on um, renewable energy and how he expects within the next 10 years we are going to transform, be transformed as a global community in the way that we uh, fuel our societies economically and in terms of renewables versus fossil fuels. So that, that transformation is underway. One sign of that is just how fiercely the fossil fuel companies are fighting back. I mean, that's a signal. Um, but it's what I just want to say is that the battle is never won. <laughs> you know, we ha there are victories that we can celebrate along the way, but Vicki reminds us just because you get the Colombian ministry to adopt this new policy and scale it up does not mean the quality, the principles, the standards are really embedded and there is that mindset change across the whole culture. So this is, this is long-term work that requires, as Jeff said last night as he was talking about leadership, stamina. So social entrepreneurship is not for the faint of heart, and it's not for the faint of will, and it really requires that we stay with it. <laughs>